Hi guys, my name is Nelly and I'm the Kenyan girl doing stories of sustainable development goals. So this is the second day of the Plastic Free July. Yesterday we spoke about what Plastic Free July is and what the purpose is. It's, it's basically a time where you reflect your relationship with single-use plastic. Today we're going to talk about what the hell is wrong with plastic? Why is everybody hating on plastic? What dangers does it pose to us? Plastic is derived from fossil fuels, basically um, the most common ones is coal and crude oil. The process of transforming fossil fuel to plastic is a chemical, um, in, it's, a, it's a chemically intensive process. And during this process, there's so many pollutants released into the air. So most of the people, most of the communities that live around areas where um, there's extraction of fossil fuel or production of plastic th from fossil fuels usually have a higher chances of getting uh, respiratory disorders. When plastic was invented, it was fairly expensive, but people loved how sexy it was. I spoke about that yesterday. Plastic became very popular because it was malleable. You could change it into different shapes, different colors, very accessible. It was cheap, it was easy, it could not, it, it was corrosive, um, it could not rust. It could not, could not be corroded, so to say. And that made it very, very popular. Um, to be honest, I, I would go for plastic. <laughs> but uh, because of because of its demand, then there was more production of plastic and it became cheaper and cheaper and cheaper and eventually it was free. But was it really free? Let's just be honest, plastic is everywhere. We interact with plastic every day. And to be honest, I don't know if it's going to be an easy task to shift from, to shift from, to shift to plastic free life. And the reason is, over the years, we've advanced plastic so well that it's nice and cheap and durable, but a bit too durable. Like for example, when we when we buy a straw or a carrier bag from the grocery shop, we use it just once, just once. And like we say, the durable part, yes, it will be durable even in the landfills. And when it is taken to the landfills, it just sits there, leaking toxins, emitting um, greenhouse gas emissions and again polluting our air and we have children in, in ICU we have pregnant mothers not even getting to term because we're just polluting our water our air our everything here's the thing again with plastic only nine percent of the plastic that has ever been produced has been recycled plastic just sits there and it does not really decompose it takes a human 60 to 100 years to fully decompose I meaning the flesh goes but the bones really to fully decompose it takes about 100 years plastic takes a minimum 800 years the other day i read that we have produced between 1950 and 2017 we have produced 8.3 billion metric tons of plastic and we think, no, Kenya is too small. We have such a small population. But eventually, the water bodies are connected. It's going to come to you and it's going to bite you in the... quite badly. It's so cute that the last time I was, um, I got invited to Biz Buzz events to sell the straws there and to create awareness on the dangers of single-use plastic straws. So yay, Biz Buzz. And it was so beautiful because there were so many little kids coming in and, and asking questions about um, the plastic straw and what I was trying to sell. And one boy, I think he was about six years old, he came and he, the first thing he asked me was, is this a turtle safe straw? And I said, yes. And then he ordered the mom to buy it <laughs> for him. All the plastic eventually, eventually leads to our water bodies. And the animals don't differentiate between plastic and food. They eat these things because plastic is now part. I read somewhere that there's going to be more plastic in our water bodies than fish. And eventually we're gonna eat more plastic than fish. And these animals, are, they eat this plastic and they get bloated because there's no space for food anymore. And they just die of starvation. They think they're full, but they're full of plastic. Anyway, um, Plastic just sucks. We have to find alternatives.
choose that one if you can ditch a straw because that's also useless even the waste pickers are not interested in it because there's no money in it um what else just little steps which eventually would amount to something really 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 big okay thank you for watching i will see you tomorrow again with another tip on how to cut down our single-use plastic bye